So today's Paragon mod is an interesting one, because it's a mod of a modded tower, the Card Monkey. That's right, we're going two layers deep here. I made a video showcasing the Card Monkey itself a few months ago, so check out that video if you missed it. But basically now we're just going to check out the 555 version, which has been updated. Again, shout out to Doom Bubbles for creating it. So let's just go over to here, and you'll see that it comes with God King of Spades. Description, sometimes the hand of fate must be forced. Just as a quick summary, in case you uh, forget how the card monkey works, top half basically just does a crap ton of damage with five different cards in one shot. Ace of Spades middle path does a crap ton of damage in mob class balloons, even more so with the ability. And bottom path Twisted Fate can explode, stun balloons, and make balloons give extra money. So that's what we're working with here. Now let's combine all of them to see how strong it is and what it does. So as usual, starting with degree 1 and then going all the way to degree 100. Let's go. Let's take a look at what this Card Monkey Paragon has for us. How does it combine all three pads? Well, first off, I can see Explosions. That is the bottom path incorporation. I don't know if they're applying the rubber to gold. Not that it would even matter because, well, if you're already at the point where you're going to put the Paragon, you likely don't need that extra bit of money from balloons. But as you can see here, it does pretty well against 119. Not bad. Otherwise, I think this uh, tower looks pretty standard, at least in terms of the combination of a card monkey. I think it is shooting like five projectiles at once, yep. I assume all five projectiles have like a shimmo damage, which is part of the uh, middle path. So yeah, it was packing a pretty big punch up until DDTs here. I wonder why it's strong against DDTs. I'm not sure what could explain it. I really wish um it would be able to stun mob class balloons though, because bottom path, the Twisted Fate upgrade, uh, it stunned Bloons, but not Moabs, but I think, I mean, when you're at a Paragon, does it even stun Srams? I can't even see, because I think it just one-shots it before it even has a chance to, well, stun it. But it would be really nice if it had a little bit of stunning effect, so that it would be more than just, I guess, straight damage right now. It's actually not looking very good. Um, if it dies before 138, which it looks like it does, I also forgot to set the lives to uh, 200, so we pretty much lost here, and it's not even close. Strange. I wonder if, like, they can't pop Black Wounds or something like that. Is that the reason why it's doing less damage? Or at least the explosions, I think. I don't know. It seems to do very well against uh, ZMGs. Let me just keep going on here. I know we already died, but let let's just say that, you know, 128 was death, and just want to test out and see. Like, if I put on last, or put on strong, see how much damage it packs. Why can't I do the same to DTs? I'm wondering. And we can't give a MIP to it. Because, well, you know, can't inherit buffs. So I don't think there's any way we could, if it does, I mean, if it does have some immunity to uh, DTs, then we can't really change that. Well, I guess the only way to figure this out is with a sandbox test. So let's kill the run here. 128 was unfortunately the very early death for this guy. All right, round 117 has a lot of DTs, so maybe this is a good round to see exactly what it does. I'm looking at the damage count. But it's really hard to tell if it doesn't do any damage to DTs, which seems like I don't think there is an immunity. Maybe the explosion, but again, it's hard to test without real sandbox mode. Because it seems like the uh, like the sharp shots itself coming from the uh, cards, they definitely do work on DTs. I just can't tell if the explosion does. And the explosion might be doing a lot of the damage, which is why it's doing worse against DTs. Or maybe it's just because DTs are fast and this guy, uh, he can't seek. I guess that's a problem. On this map, like, it, it's just gonna shoot straight lines, and it's not gonna get those nice straightaways that would maximize damage. At least that's my guess. So while we have this run set up, let's just get up the degree 100 card monkey. See how that does compared to degree 1. I would assume not very far, but let's hope for the best. 300. There we go. I should also mention, based on my observation here, that each card creates an explosion, because I see... Every time it explodes, it's like a nice stack. As you can see, the I guess the yellow line stick out. Five of them, if I had to guess. Uh, here's 128. Seems like we breeze through that. That's a good sign. But still got a lot of rounds to go. And yeah, it's not looking like it gives the rubber to gold effect anymore. Like, even though we are doing crap ton of damage to Rams, they still sometimes sneak through, but I still don't see a single one of them um, get rubber to golded. Let me just drop the Twisted Fate upgrade, just to show you. This thing affects a lot of balloons, you see? Even the very few Ceramics that comes out, 
instantly gets rubber golded, giving us extra money. Unfortunately, not the case here. It would be really cool if it, um, you, you guys know the rubber to gold plus pirate lord combo? I showcased that recently. But basically, if you rub the gold a balloon, a bulb class balloon, it only applies to that layer. But if you hook it in immediately, you can get the extra money from all layers because it skips all of them, if that makes sense. So I think a cool thing, even though, again, once you get a Paragon, you likely don't need the money, but I think what would have been really cool was if this applied a rubber gold effect to bulb class balloons and also gave all the money underneath them without, you know, requiring to one-shot them. That's just my suggestion, of course. Personally, I just think that alongside maybe stunning mob class wounds would give this thing a uh, bit more of an identity, if that makes sense. Otherwise, it would just be like, you know, another Dart Monkey Paragon that just does a lot of damage, and that's about it. 138 here, barely holding on. I don't really have much hopes for uh, much longer than that. I'm kind of curious about the single target damage, though. It's pretty good, I think. So that said, it should. Yes, it's going to destroy this bad. Man, it's just crazy just how good it is. How good it is against, uh, bads, but <laughs> DDT is, yeah, it's a problem. Like, watch this, that's like 10k damage per second on bads. And DDT is, yep, you beat it there, not fortified. Oh, this run's gonna be interesting. We got fortified space DDTs. I think they're more a problem than group DDTs, although that might just be, that just might be me. So got to the second last bend. Not sure if it's gonna last much longer. And I'm actually kind of curious if there's any other map that would this thing would be better on. Just like in some cases where like uh, Sada might be better on Resort rather than Logs, at least for the one tower challenge I did. Same with Churchill. Um, I have a feeling maybe Straight Lines would help it, so maybe I'll take a quick dip into Resort. That being said, it seems like these guys don't have a lot of Pierce, or no, they do have a lot of Pierce. It just uh. The moment it hits something, I think it explodes. Is that right? At least if it hits a wall, that's that's what I know. Let's just watch here. Hitting a wall, hitting a wall. Um, how about threading the needle here? Does it still explode? Yeah. It's hard to tell whether or not these guys have, like, little pierce, or they just explode after a certain distance, because I haven't seen... Yeah, I haven't seen any cards explode off the map. So that seems to be the case. There's a limited range. If it gets far enough, it will instantly explode. Not that it makes a difference right now in this map, because it's in the center, but like if it went on the side, then it wouldn't be able to affect anything on the left, left side of the screen, no matter what. This round's looking really nasty. We're, yeah, here's the thing though, yeah. It seems to be very f similar to uh, Churchill, where it seems like it's gonna struggle, but the moment you get a straightaway, like this, lots of damage comes in. So we probably still have a, a bit to go before this thing falls off. Like, see that? Instantly annihilated. Even if they get past that, it's still a bit of a straight line. But once it gets to the last bend, then, uh, things will probably get a little sketch. Whoa, hold on, slow down, slow down. 156, dead. Let me quickly reset the lives to one, because I need to retry last round here. Alright, so let's see how we defend this part. It barely died last time, and I guess the straight line failed us for some reason. Uh, yeah, we're dying. We're dying. Let's see what I can do. Probably a bit of targeting could help a little bit. Yeah, so what we should do is put it on strong the moment DTs come in. So wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Now, on strong. And then back on first once we get to the straightaway here. No. Very bad. Alright, strong. Let's change first earlier. Like now. And, uh, probably not, eh? Nope. We got it. Okay, we barely survived. Now we can't leak any more Serams. I think I think the next Fortify DT rush, and it's over this guy. It's all over. Let's see, this one is not fortified, but it still got really far. In fact, we died. Strange. Putting on him first, and leaving it there for now. What's the problem with this? Problem is that it falls behind like this, and I die. Hmm. This isn't even fortified DTs, man. This is like... Three of them, and then a bunch of normal DPs. Yeah, it's still a problem. There's really not much you can do because Strong will target the bads. So, last try here. If it fails, we're gonna test out Resort. Or not, okay. Uh, don't say it's over yet. There's still fortified DTs, which probably kills me. Let's see. Or straight line say no to that. Oh my god, it's so close. 
if we literally had, if we leaked one last ram that round, which I probably could have if I microed a little bit more, we probably would have survived that. Let's try last. Target the fortified DTs first, and then back to first. There's really not much you can do here. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. No, JK, it does work. That putting on last layer helped the crap ton. So 1v7, cleared. Barely. Uh, this round could spell death. Bunch of fortifieds, and, uh, yeah. Let's try last, to start. Maximize damage on DTs in the back first. Not happening, right? Oh no, it is happening, wow. Honestly, I think the logs and the explosion, like, timeout radius really benefits us, because then they explode in the corner. Again, that is assuming that it works on DTs, which I cannot verify. But honestly, it feels like it does. It, 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 it's, it's all normal type. It's just degree one doesn't have enough damage to handle. Spaced fortified DTs. Well, n neither can this guy really, but it's getting further than I expected, given that, you know, the degree one didn't go so well. Granted, I think this is the end. Let's just try a couple more times. So, last in the first seems to be really good. Watch this. Mm, so close. Anything I can do here, anything I can do here. Nice. It does work. Probably dead here. Yeah, each round I have to try like 10 times. I would have a chance. Luckily, uh, this round, we're clear. JK, there's more DDTs. I'm probably dead. Oh, great. I don't know if this... This one's possible. Given that that third wave is nasty. Basically, what I gotta do is put it on last when DDTs come in. So, we get the damage on immediately. Like, now. And then leave it on last until now. That's the only shot we have, and that seems to work the best. In fact... Oh my god, it worked, except for one SRAM again. This is gonna drive me insane. Alright, we'll do last very early. Come on, first now. And, uh, we got one shot here. Nope. Alright. I think we're going to switch over to Resort. Because this isn't happening. So here's what I'm talking about. This straightaway right here. Because that straightaway action looks pretty good if you ask me. Let's just see if that is actually true or not. Watch this. Uh, I think the pierce cap is a problem. No, 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 it's not. That was very easy. I think having the explosions explode in the middle here, despite not piercing through, is a big deal. And that probably allows us to beat this with a no micro, because that looked a lot better than what happened on logs. Clumping all the balloons together. I do see a couple DTs getting past, like, the last band here, but... Yeah. First try, no micro. Alright, we're gonna continue this on resort then. Seems like you can squeeze a few more rounds out of this. See that? DT is not even getting through the uh, last loop here. Okay, I lost 5 lives somewhere, somehow, or 100 lives. Ignore that. Seems like, yeah, again, no problems. So, be this round, we get past Dark Paragon. It's just really scary. Those DTs, like, are very fast. So, even if a normal one gets by, I think that's how I lost lives the first time. So, there's no more DTs, so that means easy win. Oh, JK. As I was saying, yes. Even if they get to the last man here, there's not enough time to do damage. Gotta be careful. I think what we should do right now is put on strong immediately. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Let's see, these DTs here. Oof, another 50 lives lost. Okay, not gonna last much longer, but you can already see Resort is clearly better than Logs for this test. And it's not even close, really, by almost 10 rounds. I think the problem is actually the DTs coming from the bats, because it spawns so late. We don't get enough damage in. See this? Dead. Anything I can do about that. Let's try first putting on strong. Let's try to focus the bat down, and then switch to first when it's by the pop. Does that work at all? Or is it cock locked? It's cock locked. It's close though. Test number three. <laughs> We're popping them, but I think we just leaked the ceramic. One or two of them, and we don't have enough lives to work with, sadly. Alright, last try here. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Again, there's not really much micro I can do. Just gotta pray to RNGs Jesus, and nope, it's gonna happen every time. So 167, it did beat the Dark Monkey Paragon at least, so that's, uh, that's nice. Regardless, very fun mod. Hope to see more Paragon mods of modded towers, because they're pretty, pretty interesting. And if you enjoyed the video, there is more modded content. Check out the playlist if you haven't seen it already, and stay tuned for next time. Thanks for watching.